What's this about? Step out of my car, please, sir. What is that? I need you to step out of the car, sir. What is that for? Yeah. Will you hold still, please, sir? Y'all getting any rain up here, Wayne? What way would that be? I seen you was from Dallas. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? Friendo? I didn't mean nothing by it. it didn't mean nothing. Just passing the time. If you don't want to accept that, I don't know what else I can do for you. Will be something else? I don't know. Will there? <clears throat> Is something wrong? With what? With anything. Is that what you're asking me? Is there something wrong with anything? Will there be anything else? You already asked me that. Oh, well, I need to see about closing then. See about closing? Yes, sir. What time do you close? Now. We close now. No, it's not a time. What time do you close? Generally around dark. At dark. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Sir? I said, you don't know what you're talking about. What time do you go to bed? Sir? You're a bit deaf, aren't you? I said, what time do you go to bed? Somewhere around 9.30. I'd, I'd say around 9.30. I could come back then. Why would you be coming back? We'll be closed. Yeah, you said that. Well, I got to close now. You live in that house all back. Yes, I do. You lived here all your life? This is my wife's father's place uh, originally. <laughs> you married into it? We lived in Temple, Texas for many years. Raised a family there in Temple. We come out here about four years ago. You married into it. If that's the way you want to put it. Well, I don't have some way to put it. That's the way it is. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? The most you ever lost on a coin toss. I don't know. I couldn't say. Call it. Call it, yes. For what? Just call it. Well, we need to know what we're calling it for here. You need to call it. I can't call it for you. Well, it wouldn't be fair. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you did. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. You know what date is on this coin? No. 1958. It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here. And it's either heads or tails. And you have to say, call it. Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. How's that? You stand to win everything. Call it. All right. Heads in. Well done. Don't put it in your pocket, sir. Don't put it in your pocket. It's your lucky quarter. Where do you want me to put it? Anywhere not in your pocket. But it'll be mixed in with the others and become just a coin. Which it is. Now, 
y'all may not believe this, but this is one of the most profound scenes you could ever even imagine. Paid out 21. He won everything. He tells him, what do I stand to win? He says, you stand to win everything. You and I, anyone, you stand to win everything. That's how you win everything in the system. You're upside down, and in order to win everything, you stand. And the whole thing was cryptic, no country for old men. It's really fascinating. He chokes on a peanut when he's like, you married into it? Because, see, we all married into this system ourselves. And he's, it's a complete mockery of all of us that we we married into the system that we were in. Now watch. Let me show you what's going on here. Let me show you just the insanity. 69 cents. Since 69. 69 cents. What's the system? Right side up, upside down. So they start there. 69 cents. Now watch. I'll go to the folder right here. So, nine thirty. Let's see. He tells him he goes to bed around nine thirty. Nine thirty is lamentations and mourning. Uh, so he says, "What time do you go to bed?" Nine thirty. Around nine thirty. A lamentations and mourning. Uh oh. So here he asks him what time he goes to bed. <clears throat> he's made, he's mocking him that uh, because he's gone to sleep in the system. He says 9.30. He chokes on a peanut when he's like, you married into it. Like, because it's so uh, just when you really know the truth of the system, it's like you would marry into this. He lives out back with his wife. He used to live in Temple. But we all left the security of our home in heaven to come here. And we married into it. Now watch. Around dark at dark. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Sir? I said, you don't know what you're talking about. You're a bit deaf, aren't you? I said, what time do you go to bed? Oh. Um, somewhere around 9.30. I'd, I'd say around 9.30. I could come back then. Why would you be coming back? We'll be closed. Yeah, you said that. Well, I got to. 9.30. 9.30 is lamentation and mourning. Now watch. Now he's going to toss the coin. You live or you die on this coin toss. You either get it right or, you, or you're done. And they know it. That's what this whole scene's about. And because he gets it right, what's paid out, it says paid out on the cash register. 21, exuberant joy. He tells him, it's, he says, the quarter's on 1950. He said, do you know what year's on this quarter? 1958. You know what 1958 is? Lamentation and mourning. He says, it's been 22 years finding you. Now it's here. You know what 22 is? L is my father. Because L is all of our fathers. And unless we get converted, unless we get turned heads up, unless we get turned heads up, then it's lamentation and mourning for eternity. And the Grim Reaper just showed up. And you either know it, and you got it, or you don't. Watch. Close now. You live in that house on back. Yes, I do. You lived here all your life? This is my wife's father's place of origin. <laughs> you married into it. I'm going to explain to you the depth of the the depth of the mockery. 
the depth of the mockery is this. He's like, you married into it. Because, see, we all took the bait. We all came into the system. It's my wife's father's place. The females that started the system, the female parthenogenesis system, her father is who? Satan. You know, Lucifer donning his own creation, Elohim. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be, oh, Elohim is not Lucifer. It's not every time it's used, is it used that way? But the point made, who started the fallen system? Elohim. The Lord God? No, but who created Elohim? The Lord God. In order for anything to exist, there has to be the opposite. It's just a... It's just the way it is. There's no yin without yang. There's no up without down. In order for anything to exist. Now, here's where people's minds are going to probably just. You're, some people may just not be able to reel in or understand the depth of this. Love is the ultimate expression of God. Because in order for anyone to exist, there has to be the opposite. And it has to be bought back. And the only thing that'll do that is love. Love suffers long. Do you understand that there's no, there's nothing, nothing could exist, nothing could exist without love, because love's willing to let let itself be, you know, split. Why do you think the Lord God created Lucifer in order to let it fall? so he could redeem it back with love, so everybody could exist. And while you're in this system, your expression of love towards the Lord God is the ultimate, ultimate joy. Now, what do you think Jesus said for the joy that was set before him? He endured the cross, despising the shame. Because Jesus knew at the end of the cross was the joy of those that would get set free, that would be expiated from their sins. It's so profound, guys. It's like the mo it is the most profound paradox you could ever even imagine. That's why you can't have one without the other. Not in this system. Now, remember, there's a chasm. There's also heaven and there's also the pit. And there's also... A system that exists between, think of like the Jordan River as well. Like think of the Jordan and on one side is the land of Esau, one on the side is the land of Jacob. You'll find that this microcosm plays out again and again and again, even within our heads. You have one side of your brain that's one thing, one side that's the other. He's broken down the middle wall of partition. It's so deep. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We lived in Temple. the way you want to put it. All right, I don't have somewhere to put it. That's the way it is. Now, I want you to <clears throat> pay attention. He wads up his little thing of plastic and he puts it down and it starts expanding. It's very phallic. He's, he's making a point. He puts it down and it starts expanding. It's a very phallic scene. He's like, okay, you married into it, call it. Heads or tails? He says, what do I stand to win? He says, you stand to win everything. Now, I know in the in the scene, he's not telling him you stand to win everything. I'm telling you. The word resurrection means the standing up again. That's what the word resurrection means. Resurrection, the standing up again. So when he tells him, call it, and he picks heads, and it's heads, you win everything. 